that the city has just halted the relocation of homeless families living in a Midtown hotel. This comes after abruptly telling them that they had to move to make way for a group of homeless men. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge reports. A temporary win for families living in the Harmonia shelter inside the former Hotel Chandler on East 31st Street. They held a rally saying they got no notice they're being transferred to make room for a group of men that were pushed out of an Upper West Side hotel. But just this afternoon, the city said, hold on. It's going to assess each client's personal needs before relocating them. I think it's not fair that may move families, single mothers with children, for men. 300 men were told by the city they had to leave the Lucerne on West 79th, where they were temporarily staying during the pandemic, so they could socially distance instead of living in a shelter, dorm style, several beds to a room. But some Upper West Siders complained the men were causing issues in the neighborhood and threatened to sue the city. This is being done for a political game that the mayor is playing. He's appeasing folks who didn't want a shelter on the Upper West Side. Per state regulations, you can't put single men in a family shelter. So it appeared residents from the Harmonia would be moved into other family shelters with vacancies, freeing up space for all the men, but uprooting these families. Now they're waiting to hear the next steps. They talk about when, wherever you get transferred to, you only can bring one bag each. I have life support equipment in my room. They tell me I got to carry it. And he's in the wheelchair, how are you going to carry? Now the Legal Aid Society says it's suing the city for not making sure these residents here at the Harmonia are moved somewhere that will accommodate their medical needs. I got two heart attacks already. I feel I'm going to get a second one, a third one. But moving is not right. I'm not stable for all that moving back and forth. For now, the transfer has been frozen, but Legal Aid couldn't say for how long. In Midtown, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. We reached out to the city and have not heard back yet. Of the 60 hotels used to house homeless in the city, officials have said that only two are affected by relocation.